What is up, bros and broads? It's Slasher 44 and today we're going to be talking about the IMR Boar Strike, an elite weapon in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But quickly before I get into that, I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. My channel has been growing a lot lately, almost at twice the rate it was growing two months ago, which is just incredible. So I just really want to say thank you to all you guys. I actually just finished playing tonight with a couple, actually a few subscribers, um, and you guys are great. Some people even just stopped in to just say, um, thanks for the videos, they're really awesome, I enjoy them and uh, we talked for a little bit I don't know it was an awesome awesome night and I just want to thank all you subscribers you guys are fantastic um, thank you so so much but let's get into looking at this gun so the interesting thing about this gun is that not all the stats that change are given to you in the in-game stats. So if we start out by looking at the in-game stats, we can see that the damage is increased by 1, the accuracy is decreased by 2, and the fire rate is decreased by 1, and the range is decreased by 2. So, looking at these in-game stats, it looks like this gun would be unstoppable with the damage and range being increased. However, a lot of the stats that change aren't given to you in this. So let's look at the real stats. So as far as the base IMR goes, you're looking at a 3 to 5 bullet kill. When looking at the boar strike, you're looking at a 3 to 4 bullet kill. This is huge. This is absolutely huge because what this means is that you can actually kill people from any range with one single burst of this weapon. Why? Because this is a four round burst gun. So that's incredibly notable. On top of that, the mid and long ranges are extended pretty bit, pretty big with this gun, and this is actually the only variation of the IMR where the uh, ranges are increased. So that is very good. However, when we look at the bad things, the fire rate is decreased from an 800 fire rate to a 685 fire rate. That's a really, really big decrease when you're talking about a burst fire gun. That's huge. On top of that, the fire time is increased uh, by 0 .01, which isn't good at all. That means the time it takes for you to squeeze the trigger and for the actual gun to shoot in-game is a little bit longer. Also, there's a bigger burst delay with this gun, which means that um, in between your bursts of this gun, there's actually a longer delay than normal. On top of that, the view kick is increased by 20%. That's a lot of view kick. Um, that is incredibly huge because you get view kick for every single bullet that comes out of the gun, not by burst. So that means you may be missing a lot more bullets with the burst of this gun because of that view kick, which means most of the time you're actually not going to be getting a one burst kill because some of those bullets from each burst will miss. And you end up getting a pretty much a two to three burst kill with this gun every single time, unless you're incredibly accurate, incredibly good at managing recoil so it comes down to a change in from a three to five bullet kill to a three to four bullet kill and then a big fire rate decrease so that's really what you're comparing with this gun and when it comes down to it i really do feel like this gun just isn't as good as the base gun reason being that view kick is huge and that fire rate delay is absolutely enormous i just found myself getting destroyed by the asm1 and bow while using this gun it was really hard to get a gameplay but hey that's just my opinion however if you are using this gun i highly recommend using a foregrip and using a quick draw um attachment just because i find that when you're using a burst fire weapon um the quick draw really makes it so you can get on target a lot faster, and that is incredibly important when using a burst fire weapon. Also, the quick draw is there to counteract that 20% uh, increase in view kick. And then I also like using a red dot sight, but that's just me. That's because I like being super, super accurate with burst fire guns. So that is the best way I can recommend using this gun. Also, the best way I find is to actually stay at a long range, just so that way... Um, you can kind of stay away from those incredibly high fire rate weapons like the Bal and ASM one. So that's what I think of this gun. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know a lot of you said in the supply drop video I put out that this gun is awesome and you guys love it. Just wasn't for me. I'm not the biggest fan of burst fire weapons. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. We've looked at the stats. If you guys enjoyed and found this informative, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you to everyone who comes and watches my videos. And until next time, peace out.